Assalamualaikum to everyone who watching this. My name is Patria Tumunira binti Nur Azam. I am 18 years old and I live in Lisaru, Johor and I study in UITM Sigamat, Johor. I was given a task to create a video presentation sharing my experience of enrolling in the online study skill course and new things that I have learned in UED 102. So please watch this video and to know the things that I want to share with you. Check it out! Some new things that I have learned in this study skill course is about the fundamental of time management. We also learn how to organize tasks in a better way by doing a to-do list. A good get it to ensure strategically perfectly scheduled, scheduling the routine and even though about the best segments method, which is corner taking notes method. It really helps me in studies as I still need to adapt with new environment in university which has lots of work and assignment. I honestly really enjoy learning this this cat course and grateful for these opportunities given. As everyone knows our country Malaysia has been in tumor with a dangerous infection disease that is coronavirus or known as COVID-19. We have seen a rapid growth in online learning with a more and more e-learning courses and webinars available. Free learning has also been given a big boost from courses YouTube tutorial that are really affordable or maybe special made by all lecturers. Learning is becoming more accessible for everyone and we has no longer have an excuse and not to learn. Any common obstacles that we have faced during e-learning is technical issues. Many students are not well accurate with a high internet connection that is required for online learning. Due to this, we face problems including life for virtual learning and other platforms that require internet connections. We face technical issues as we are not much aware of technology and computers applications a uh, slow and high internet connection can play an important role in how quickly we can attend the class and do not miss any lab season. There is a possibility of full connectivity if you find difficulty in download downloading for information related to the subject. For example, the bird the blur video. It is very frustrating and stressful especially when we cannot submit the assignment within the due date on time because of the poor connection. The next thing is limited instruction option without the class physically in front of the professor. The instruction option are limited. Class material is often presented through online posting, chat rooms, and possibly videos of lecturer. Their learning is often self-paced with student log logging in to review the material when covering. This gives the professor title opportunity to tell you the instruction to the student in the class. The next thing is respond when you take a traditional college class. You get immediate feedback and interaction with your professor. If you have a question, you can ask it in class or stay after for clarification 
discussion take place in real time with a natural flow since the entire class but participate on once when learning online you might have to wait several hours or an effective day before getting a response from your professor if you are stuck on a concept you likely can continue with the lesson until you get the response so in conclusion communication and time management are still both important during this every day thank you for watching bye